you will receive your remote monitoring equipment delivered to your doorstep in a plastic bag. Please bring in equipment immediately after being dropped off and a member of the remote monitoring team will be contacting you shortly to walk you through the process. You will want to find a place in your home that the equipment can remain plugged in. All equipment should be kept in the same area. If you have a scale, you will want to be sure the spot you choose is one where the scale is on a hard surface. The tablet monitor needs to remain plugged in at all times. Identify the highlighted silver spot on the short side of the monitor. Make sure the power cord is attached to this port on the monitor and then plugged into the wall. You will also receive a tablet stand to prop your monitor up for easy viewing purposes. The tablet stand is adjustable to your preference. There is an on-off button on the long side top of the monitor. There are two buttons located in this area. The smaller button is the on-off button and the larger one controls the volume of the tablet. The pulse oximeter finger probe should also remain plugged in at all times. Please be sure your hands are warm and dry prior to turning the probe on. Press the gray button to turn the device on. A welcome screen will appear, then it will begin taking an oxygen reading. Oximeters will turn off automatically once you have removed it from your finger. The blood pressure cuff you receive is battery operated and does not need to be plugged into the wall. The cuff will need to be fitted to your arm. Please have a family member assist you with this part. The cuff should be placed on the arm with the tubing facing away from the patient or traveling down your arm. Please note the artery bullseye marker should be aligned with the center of your elbow crease. The blood pressure cuff should be fitted with two fingers under the cuff so that it is loose enough that it can easily slide off the patient's arm. Also note the blood pressure cuff is printed upside down so that it can be read while on your arm. Make sure the blood pressure cuff tubing is plugged into the side of the machine. Scales should always remain flat on the floor on a hard surface. If your scale came with a tray, please pay attention to the orientation arrows of the tray so that it is set up properly. Arrows should be pointed away from you with the screen of the scale facing the same direction. Now that the equipment is all set up, we will begin taking our vitals. The monitor screen is a touch screen. Tap anywhere on the screen. Select the Vitals Now button in the middle of the screen and hit the Select All button. Click Next. The monitor will walk you through the process of testing your vitals. First, it will ask yes or no questions that your clinician has assigned to you. After the questions are answered, it will walk you through exactly what to do with the equipment. Follow all prompts. Please note that if you answer yes to any questions, your clinician will contact you, and if any of your readings are too high or too low, they will also contact you. If your blood sugar is being monitored, be sure you take your reading before you eat. Write the reading down if you need to so that you can enter it when it's time to check your vitals. Part of your success in this program is the partnership you form with your clinician. Please respond to any requests from the remote patient monitoring team in a timely manner. If you have any questions, please contact our main line at 1-833-891-5247.